Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about how to create cross object formula field in Salesforce. And we are going to discuss this topic in both the edition in Salesforce Lightning as well as Classic. So before that, here we would like to inform you that uh, we have recently launched a course for the Salesforce administrator and even if you are a beginner, then you will easily understand the topic of the content of the course. Here also a limited time offer of 50% discount for the early birds and you can also get the lifetime access of this course. So you can buy the course through the link that we are mentioned in the description box. This Salesforce admin training course is from the beginner to advanced level and also have 9 plus module with a real business scenario and have a 21 plus hour of HD videos and we also provide course material like PDF and solution and one to one doubt clear session and we also give you the certification of completion and also provide the internship and placement opportunities so you can subscribe this course and learn a lot about the salesforce administrator part so let's move on to our topic this is my salesforce lightning work and here we are going to learn how to learn cross object formula field in salesforce so for this we firstly click on the gear icon and select the setup option and then click on the object manager tab and then enter the contact in the search box and select the contact object now we click on the field and relationship option and then we redirect to our field and relationship page and here we want to create the new field so we click on the new button now we choose the field type and here we are choosing the field type as a formula field type and then hit the next button now enter the field label and here we are entering the field label as a formula field and our field name is by default field and then select the formula return type and here we are selecting the formula return type as a text and then hit the next button. Now create the formula that drives the value of the field from the related object to do this click on the insert field button and here in the context search click on the account and then locate the field name that acts as a reference field and here we are locating the field name as a website and then hit the insert button and this formula is inserted in the formula field now check the syntax so click on the check syntax button and here we go our syntax is checked no error is found so now scroll to the bottom and hit the next button now establish the field level security and here we select the visible checkbox for field level security for profiles and then hit the next button. Now add to the page layout, select the page layout that should include this field. The field will be added as the last field in the first two column section of this page layout and hit the save button. Now click on the app launcher and select the enter the account in the search box, select the account object. Our account record page is open. Now select any of the record and here we are selecting this. Our software subscription page is open and under this page we can see there is a contact section present and under the contact section we can see two contacts are present. Select any one of the contact and here we are selecting this contact and click on the details tab and under this tab we can see and you can see that the account website field is created successfully. And same as we can also create the cross object formula field in Salesforce Classic. For moving to the Salesforce Classic version, we click on the profile picture and under this profile picture, we can see there is an option present switch to Salesforce Classic. Click on this option and our Salesforce Classic version is open. Now we click on the setup option and our setup page is open. Now we enter the object in the quick find box and here we select the objects option or otherwise we simply enter the contact in the quick find box and here we go we can see the contact object is present now we click on the fields option and here we can see lots of fields are already created but we want to create the custom field so we click on the new button here we are selecting the field type as a formula and hit the next button. Now enter the field label as a account 
site and then we enter the field name which is automatically filled now select the formula return type and here we are selecting the formula return type as a text and then hit the next button and now we come to our next step that is enter the formula and here we are entering the formula by click on the insert field select the contact and then click on the account and here we are searching the account site and then insert it and now check the syntax here we click on the check syntax button and here we go we can see there is a no error message found and click on the next button now establish the field level security by simply clicking on the visible checkbox to field level security for the profile and hit the next button now add to the page layout select the page layout that should include this field and then hit the save button now click on the accounts object and our account record page is open and here we select the software subscription account to record and under this we can see there is a contact section present and under this section we can see two contacts are present and we select one of the contact and here we are selecting this contact and our mr john william contact record is open and under this we can see and we can see that our account site field is created successfully so with this we have learned how to create cross object formula field in salesforce so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching have a great day